there are three major pillars when it comes to making the right investment decision. Time, money, and knowledge. Kahit na anong investment instrument may element of time. And it has two parts. The first is that every investment needs time to grow. Whether it's a few minutes or a few days sa stock market, hanggang taon-taon pagdating sa mga policies. So dapat yung investment mo akma sa time horizon mo. Halimbawa, isa kang 60-year-old retiree. Siyempre hindi practical na magsimula kang mag-invest sa isang bagay na may 30-year maturity period. The second factor is how much time do you have to monitor your investment. Every investment needs time na babantayan mo. So dapat, tulad ng nauna, akma yun sa investment natin. Halimbawa, gusto mong mag-stock trading, pero nagtratrabaho ka naman mula 9am hanggang 5pm kaya wala kang oras mag-monitor ng pag-aakyat baba ng stocks. Huwag ka nang pumasok dito dahil hindi ito good match. Ang investment, hindi ito magic na kusang lalago mag-isa. Natural, kailangan rin natin magtanim ng kahit konti lang para may maani. At ang isang importanteng kailangan isipin is how much can you truly afford to invest. Ang pera mo ba ay manggagaling sa iyong retirement fund na pwedeng pang one-time big-time investment? O isa ka bang regular office employee na kayang maghulog ng pakonti-konti on a monthly basis? O baka naman, ikaw ay isang housewife o freelance worker na walang regular fixed income. Ang iyong source of income ay isa ring important factor to determine kung makakapag-commit ka ba sa isang investment or hindi. Last but not the least, kailangan na iintindihan mo ang investment na papasukin mo. Hindi dahil kumita ang iyong kumpare ay dapat mo nang gayahin ang investment method niya. Pero hindi rin naman sinasabing kailangan maging expert ka para mag-invest. Tamang kaalaman lamang kailangan para malaman natin how to make our money earn more over time.